Is this the craziest circle theorems question that has ever been asked in a past GCSE question? This question here was submitted on the Lung Gang Reddit page. If you guys want to submit your own questions, feel free to check it out and submit your questions there. Link is in the description. So we have this circle. We have PQR on the circumference. We have the center here. We have 120 degrees. We have this length is four, this is five. They said, work out the radius of the circle. Give your answer in the form root k, where k is an integer. Okay, so what I'll do here is I would label which lengths you see here are the radius. Well, we have the radius here and we have the radius here. And we kind of want to figure out how does this radius even relate to these lengths? I'm not too sure. I'm thinking about this wider triangle here, maybe. Well, if I use these two lengths and this angle, I could use the cosine rule to find this length and maybe it will connect with all of these, perhaps. And then maybe if I find this angle here, then I can connect everything together. So I'm actually going to be using the cosine rule twice. All right, how do I work out this length here? Well, let's write down the cosine rule. A squared, so it's Pythagoras' theorem. But then we're going to minus 2bc cos a. So the angle in question is 120, so that's my capital A. And my lowercase a is the opposite, pr. So I'm going to call it pr squared is r squared plus r squared. So that's your a and b in no particular order. So r squared plus r squared minus 2 bc r times r cos of 120 degrees, which I'm pretty sure is minus a half, uh, which I will double check before I make a mistake. So we have cos of 120 minus a half, never in doubt. So we have pr squared is r squared plus r squared, which is 2r squared, minus another 2r squared times minus a half. Okay. Now the two negatives, they cancel to make plus, and a half of 2 cancels. So we're left with pr squared is 2r squared plus r squared, which is 3r squared. And then we're going to root both sides to get pr. pr is root of 3. Then when you root r squared, they just cancel. All right, sweet. So we now have this length here is root 3r. Now, if we look at the wider triangle, I'm just going to remove these bits so that you guys can see a little bit better. So if we remove this and we redefine something. If we look at this wider triangle, we do have these three lengths. Yes, and uh, scalene triangle, all the lengths are different. Okay. How can we connect all these up? Well, we need another angle within the triangle. Well, I can use one of my circle theorems of angle at the center is double angle at the circumference. So I can say that this angle here is 60 degrees. Now I have another triangle which can connect all of these things up. It looks like this. I'll do it over here. So we have 60. We have 4, 5 and root 3. R. And I'm going to do the exact same thing that I did previously. Okay. Now, in this case, my capital A is 60 degrees. This is my lowercase a. Here's my b. Here's my c. So, I'm going to say a squared. So, when I square this, which I already know is 3r squared, but root 3 squared is 3, then you have r squared, is b squared plus c squared minus 2bc. And then I'm running out of uh, space for this. 2bc cos of the angle that was 60 degrees. I'll uh, redraw the triangle here. It was root 3r. Here we had 60 degrees. Here was 4 and 5. So here's your, sorry, that's your b, c, a. And that's your capital A. Okay, so we know that when we square this, we get 3r squared is 4 squared plus 5 squared. Uh, which is 41, I think. 4 squared plus 5 squared, 
41. Minus 2 times 4 times 5. Now, cos 60 is a half. That would cancel the 2. Uh, a lot of students wouldn't write it just yet, so I won't either. So we have 40. So this here is 40 times a half. Okay, 40 times a half is um, 20. So 41 minus 20. So we get 21. Rearranging, we're going to divide by 3 on both sides. R squared is siete. And then we're going to root both sides to get R. R is root of 7. And that is a clean question. I've not uh, seen a question like this before, but thank you to the student who sent it to me on the Lung Gang Reddit page. So guys, if you learned something today, I'd appreciate if you hit the like button. Subscribe for more maths content. If you're interested in my GCSE courses, then feel free to subscribe. Ah, uh, feel free to check out <laughs> the details in the description. And don't forget to join the Learn Gang Reddit page if you want to submit your own questions and get feedback from the community. Nice.